Hey guys, Matt here with Matt's Vintage Video Games. So obviously normally I talk about video games and video game accessories, but today I'm going to talk a little bit about your uh, mask wearing, uh, how to do it correctly, and uh, hopefully keep you guys safe out there and hopefully nobody comes down with, with anything. So uh, here's what I do. So I buy these masks right here. Uh, these are KN95 masks. Um, I get them at a local grocery store around my area and they're relatively cheap. Uh, they're a little bit thin but they're light and they're easy to breathe through. Um, these are recommended through the CDC and various other uh, websites that show like the best masks out there, the best ones to keep you safe the best I guess. Um, and these come in like number two or three on a list. So, um, supposed to be pretty good. Uh, now, I don't know how much I buy into any of this at this point, but I feel like if it's going to keep me safe, maybe even a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put the thing on and wear it. Uh, they're not comfortable. Nobody likes wearing them, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. We, we are where we are. Uh, it's not a political thing. It's affecting the whole world. So, uh, anyway, this is what I do. So, this is a KN95 mask. Grab the mask like this. Don't touch the front of the mask. Why, why would you touch the front of the mask? It, listen, if you have bacteria on your hands and you touch the front of your mask and you do that over and over and you put the thing in your pocket and you get it out and you put it back on your face, you're just spreading bacteria all over the place. These are supposed to keep us bacteria free. So why would we want bacteria on the front of the face mask? Take the mask like this, put the mask over your nose. Make sure it's under your chin. You're going to have to touch it once or twice, but that's not a big deal if you got hand sanitizer. If you're smart and you're doing things smart, it's not that big of a deal. But just try to keep your hands off the face mask all the time. These fit good. They fit tight. And when you breathe in, you see the mask contracts around my face. That tells me I have a good seal around my face. I feel like these keep me a little safer than these cheap cloth masks that everybody's wearing. And these things are even cheaper. So, anyway, when you're done wearing the mask, you take the mask off and you hang the mask in your rear view mirror. The sun is supposed to kill the germs. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's, it's worth a shot. You don't fold it up, put it in your pocket. You don't keep it in your glove box. You need to keep it out, hung somewhere where the air can filter it to clean it. Keep it clean. Keep it away from germs and other microbes and bacteria. That's the whole point of this thing. So if you do that, you'll probably be a lot better off. The other thing is to just use hand sanitizer. Uh, I use hand sanitizer every time I go anywhere. If I go into a grocery store and I grab a shopping cart, I use hand sanitizer. I sanitize the crap out of everything I touch. I use this if I go into a store and I go buying groceries and I put a bunch of things in the cart, I use hand sanitizer. I use hand sanitizer four or five times throughout the whole shopping because you don't know who's touching the bag of chips before you pick it up. So this is something that people need to really think about. How this thing is spreading is, is through our communities. It's spreading through our communities through touch, through air, through you know all this stuff and we really don't know a whole lot yet. So keeping clean is the biggest part of this. Um, using the hand sanitizer, wearing the mask correctly, that's the big part of this. The other thing with these, especially these KN95 masks, is that these are not machine washable. So, you're going to have to clean it. And the way I do it is I have a spray bottle always with, with at least 75% um, isopropyl alcohol. This has 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol, or I think it's 91%. Um, anyway, I get this at Walmart. Um, if I can find it, you can find it. So it's out there. Um, and, and I just use it in a spray bottle. You can, you can spray this on just about any services and, and it kills stuff on pretty much on contact. So um, I just spray the mask down. Spray it down really good. It's really simple to do. You can even take a paper, uh, paper towel and, and press on it a little bit. And press it into the fibers of the mask. And you just hang this mask and let it dry for... You know, a couple few hours and it's dry it's like a brand new mask you're ready to go uh, you do that maybe once or twice uh, you know a week you know, maybe every day if you want to uh, depends on how much rubbing alcohol you can find uh, I use this stuff on everything I always have I've done that uh, before the pandemic I use it to clean everything so I mean you know I've I've always have rubbing alcohol on hand uh, 
So that's the way to go. That's what you got to do to keep yourself stay, uh, safe, you know. Um, uh, as of yet, I don't believe I've ever contracted COVID. Um, I hope that I never do. I hope that none of you ever do. I'm just trying to keep you safe. You can fact check anything I'm telling you. Uh, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm not. But, um, but just trying to keep everybody healthy out there. So if you pay attention to me and listen to what I'm telling you, this is what I do. It's helpful for me. Uh, I hope it helped you too.